So today we're <clears throat> disassembling the uh, undercarriage of the Cat 257B2 skid steer. And in order to get to the bearing, the cap has to come off. In order for the cap to come off, the snap ring has to come off. So you can see the snap rings are over there. From the underside is done already. So the snap rings have been in here a long time. And you need to take snap ring pliers and squeeze and get them out. Now, to get to that stage, <clears throat> let's move on to this one that I haven't touched yet. You put the ring, snap ring pliers to them, but they don't budge because they're seized in there. So, little trick that I have it's a palm nailer, air driven. And uh, the head part is what drives, you use them for driving in nails into timber and that. I'll do a quick demonstration. As soon as that head makes contact, it starts pounding down like a jackhammer. So here's what I do. Faster, or the harder you press, the faster it drives. I've also pre-soaked these overnight with WD-40 or any other kind of rust penetrating fluid. Uh, we'll try this test test these and see. So still not there. So, no. So my other trick is I take a piece of I have some steel rod. It's just Common steel is not very hard, that's why you see it mushrooming like that. But when it gets too bad mushroomed, I'll just go to the grinder, grind it off, and then it allows me to get in and run around the ring and tap it. But I need two hands to do it. Go around, tap, tap, tap. So that might do it, and if it doesn't, then I'll go back to pounding on the side around here with the hammer like this. And uh, eventually it comes. <laughs> so that's what happens when you got to struggle with some of these uh, rusted-in snap rings. That's the trick I have anyway.